if you think a doctor knows shit except for how to fucking fix a broken bone except for how to set a cast that's what i'll trust a doctor to do here's a here's a highly respected academic researcher guess the game's on tv this weekend i'd better get back to my job i'm researching under the microscope chemicals today i wonder what how we could make medicine we'll use a chemical you're 45 and you look 60 and you talk about well yeah you? yeah and it's like if you uh if you like jump once your you're... leg's gonna break <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah. all, all you ate was yogurt raisins yeah yeah you eat yogurt <laughs> yeah, yeah. not even like like soy yogurt seeds yeah you eat uh fucking sunflower seeds and, and uh and fermented beans fitness and wellness living tips you're gonna want to be eating lots of healthy stuff whole grains great grains barley that's a great grain flaxseed wow flaxseed is loaded with nutrients oh, what oh boy if you saw the nutrient profile of flaxseeds you'd probably wow Ooh, apple butter yes please watermelon almond butter great so great great source of healthy fats get plenty of almond butter coconut oil olive oil these are all great things healthy fats and moderation they're doing they're good for you load that diet up with fiber plenty of fiber drink lots and lots of water you want to drink up to a gallon of water a day make sure that your body's lubricated and has what it needs water helps accelerate fat loss water is just what are you gonna do? this retarded ass idea that a authority that a position of authority means fucking anything. Retarded ass. Fluoride ass. You fucking eat the, you don't even drink tap water, you eat the whole fucking tube of toothpaste with your fucking retard ass. The last time I went to a doctor, I went for back pain, which I don't have anymore because I fixed it my fucking self. Now my back's so strong, I can eat a piece of human shit. Won't feel a thing. But the last time I was at a doctor, I went for back pain. Guy says to me, we can give you painkillers, and if those don't work, we'll get you surgery. That is all-star advice. I go into a place, I'm paying fucking $600 a month for health insurance, I'm paying hundreds of dollars for a fucking doctor's visit that I have to set up weeks in advance, I wait in line for an hour and a half, I use the little self-help kiosk, there's a lady at the desk picking her disgusting fingernails. She tells me, yeah, you gotta use the self-help kiosk. I use the self-help kiosk. I go in, and the thousands of dollars spent on health insurance, and the hours waiting, and the time setting it up, and the end result is you can have painkillers that'll jam you up forever, or we can get you surgery so that you can't ever move properly again, so that you'll, you'll have pain forever and you'll probably need the painkillers so I just wasted a bunch of your time and money and my offer is I can fuck you up what do you study mr. white lab coat is it energy is it field theory is it something associated with crystals or stones oh boy me surprise surprise me it's not boy yo 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 it's not you study you study what pharmaceuticals Here's your face. Here's your face. Here's the face of the average scientist. Huh? Is that my son? Is that my son? Are you there? What you don't know is that they've read the studies. They've read, they've gone to, uh, they've gone on LexisNexis and they pay for an account and they've looked at the studies and research and field work that Dr. Anthony Fauci has done. And they've verified it with their scientific eyes. They've used their science eyes to verify that the science is accurate. So they know, okay? Thanks. They didn't just, they didn't just see his name on the lower third of TV and hear someone say, you should trust him. I'm not trying to unnecessarily take a shit on nurses by saying that female nurses 
have busted faces and fat arms, big triceps, and like big hips and not in a sexy way. All I'm saying is for once, the stereotype of a hot nurse, I would like that to come true and not be like basically some cleaning lady, like big fat cleaning lady nurse. Like get your hands off me, all right? You're not sexy, you're not hot. This is not like what I've been pro promised all my entire life. Second of all, doctors, American heroes. The American healthcare system, I love going to the hospital, spending $4,000 to get my uh, urethra checked out uh, because it burns, okay? That's awesome. I love getting prescribed uh, ADHD medication and uh, Ritalin and pills when I'm 14 or 13. I love getting pre prescribed antidepressants when I'm 13 or 14. Thank you doctors, keeping us safe, great, great professionals because you're a helpful angel professional healthcare helper. Stay home, angel, help. They're helping you, okay? I, I wish I could shoot myself up with 50 vaccines right now, all at the same time. If you want to stagger vaccines, you're crazy. You're crazy. Shoot up. By the way, that same guy that told me I was gonna need surgery or painkillers tried to stick his hands in my pants. He started to pull the, under, the waistband of my underwear. I pushed his hand away and he said, oh, that part's optional. People, people believing anything, it's just, it's just the same as believing what cigarette companies say. This cigarette contributes to a healthy respiratory system. The people watching TV right now believe buying hook, line, and sinker, everything, everything that's being said, it's the same thing. It's the same thing as me watching a fucking Lucky Strike Reading a Lucky Strike ad in a magazine or something, and being like, "Oh, this looks like a hell. This looks like a good choice for me. I think I'll just go with Lucky Strike Man. I'm a Lucky Strike Man. I'm an Anthony Fauci man. I'm a Doctor Fauci man. I'll go with that Anthony Fauci. He looks like he knows what he's talking about. And I trust him because I've read the science. Because I know the science. As a matter of fact, human life doesn't begin until the baby is born. So if you stick a knife up a woman's pussy and rip the fetus out, you know what?" That's not taking a human life. As a matter of fact, if a woman is pregnant and you shove a double-barreled shotgun up her uterus and pull the trigger and blow the fetus into smithereens and she survives, you didn't commit murder, my friend, because that's not a life. No, sorry, that is not a life. The idea that a little tiny human shaped like a fucking human with a human fucking face it looks like a mini baby the idea that that's not a life? I don't, even, what, I don't even care. Fucking abort it. Kill it. Whatever. Do whatever you want. Stick a knife up your fucking pussy, you dumb bitch. Fucking stick a hanger up there. Stick a fucking coat hanger up there and pull the fetus out, you stupid retarded cunt. Do whatever you gotta do. I don't care. I don't care about your retarded kid, you fat bitch. You think I care? You think I care about some fat crackhead's dumb fucking baby that's gonna grow up to be a crackhead? Fuck you. Yo, my God, man. And I look, I understand the, the moment the sperm touches the egg, that's whatever. Think what you want about that. I'm talking about the thing that looks like, a, it actually looks like a fucking baby. Okay, I'm talking about that thing. It's just a clump of cells. How are these people walking around how do they walk around without sticking their fingers in an electrical socket or walking into traffic putting their head under a, a truck tire oh man make sure you're getting enough healthy greens and roughage in your diet spinach is a great source of calcium as well as being a source of many vitamins that you need vitamin b vitamin d spinach is literally nature's superfood great cool. lots of healthy greens the darker the green the healthier it is the more vitamin b d and e you're gonna get vitamin a is essential to the healthiness and wellness the cold the iceberg lettuce of your nails the soft suppleness of your skin and the luxuriousness of your hair all depend on having a good source good good source of healthy vitamin a in your diet animal byproducts so after breakfast too many veggies
I, something something about vegan people, like older vegan people that have been vegan for like 20 years, yeah, they look like uh, they're made of stone. They're fucked up. They get like really gaunt. They're like beef jerky. They're all dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all dry and gaunt. They look unhealthy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like always talking about like wellness and shit. And it's like there's yeah. no way you don't wake up with like your brain completely filled with mucus. You're, fo you're 45 and you look 60 and you're talking about wellness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like if you, uh, if you like jump once, your <laughs> leg's gonna break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because all, all you ate was yogurt raisins. Yeah, yeah, you eat yogurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not even, yo like, like, so soy yogurt. Seeds. Yeah, you eat, uh, fucking sunflower seeds and, and uh, and fermented bean. So doctors and nurses now, the really annoying thing is that they have, um, this sitcom sense of humor. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but doctors and nurses have a sitcom sense of humor. So if you ask, you ask them a question, a serious question, <clears throat> something like, um, is, there, are you, um, is it true that there's heavy metals in vaccines? Are you sure that you should be giving a, a brain-altering medication to a six-year-old? Questions like that, you know, you ask them questions like that, and they hit you back with, and what medical school did you get a degree from? I thought so. I don't know if you guys have dealt with this. There, I, there's literally doctors who are like this. Hey, um, I just wanted to urge everyone to stay at home. Just stay home for another year. And uh, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm urging you, just stay home. Stay safe. Don't leave your house. Don't even look at the windows, okay? Don't leave the house. Don't look outside. Don't listen to the radio. Don't watch TV. TV, sit in a room, face the corner, sit there for 10 years. You're going to do something similar anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay? You're not going to miss it. Hello? Huh? No one's going to miss you. Okay? Stay in the basement for 4 to 10 years. Don't worry about it. Nothing was going to happen anyway. Nothing good was going to happen. Trust me. Nothing good. And I also want to say... Biggest possible shout out and thank you to our healthcare professionals, the nurses and doctors keeping us safe. You know, I can't imagine the difficulty of keeping dozens of people hydrated and checking their pulse. Like, oh my God, I can't imagine that. And you have to wear, oh, what if you get a bruise from the goggles and the mask, okay? My, uh... Duet and blend. It's about the human body, it gets harder for every question. Duet and blind react. What is the hardest substance we have in our body? Penis. Our teeth. Speaking of teeth, how many teeth does the average adult have? Three. Thirty-two. What body part never stops? Duet and blind react. What is the hardest substance we have in our body? Penis. Our teeth. Speaking of teeth, how many teeth does the average adult have?